Hey everyone, and welcome back to Open. Our next guest is a Bronx native who has professionally taught art in New York City schools for over three decades. Under her artistic skills, her work has been featured in various exhibitions internationally and in local museums and gallery shows, acquiring multiple awards and leadership roles within the arts and culture community in New York City. Please welcome artist and educator Valerie Days. Hello and welcome. Good morning. Good. I'm so happy to be here. Well, we're happy to have you. Thank you for making the time. And um, I, you know, I, I gave an, a generalized introduction of you um, because you have so much under your belt. Um, but I know that your primary uh, artistry is, is geared towards like quilting and, and fine arts. And, and so um, if you would just share with our viewers, I guess in a succinct manner, your trajectory so that they understand how we got here. Well, actually, um, I was in a group called Harlem Girls Quilting Circle, which was started more than 20-something years ago. And that's how I first started quilting. And at some point, it was a little difficult for me because everyone in the group was right-handed, and I'm left-handed, and I see the world completely different. And so eventually, I ended up moving away from them and coming up with my own, where I would not be, they were into, you know, every line had to be straight, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I was like, no, I can't do it that way. And that's how I started quilting. But I've always been teaching, I've taught art for 16 years in elementary school, 25 classes a week. And my principal, principal gave me full autonomy to do whatever I want. I used to decorate and so forth. And then I decided to leave because um, I wanted to really concentrate on my own work. So I left 12 years, 12 years ago. And since that time, I've been doing my own thing. Wow. So you sustained in your, um, based on your artistry and teaching it the way you want to teach it mm -hmm. versus uh, following somebody else's curriculum, right? Yes. And so... Um, I wanted to give everybody a little background just so that they understand that you're uh, an out-the-box type of oh, individual. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm out the box, you know. <laughs> I'm so out the box. I came two months earlier than I was supposed to, so I was a premature baby because I wanted to be here and put my mark on society and the universe. And so I'm, you know, I'm, that's just who I am. And so with this particular piece, this is, this is a very, very special piece because I entered it into the um, African-American... Um, exhibition um, a few years ago and what happened was I sent a small little piece because I did not read the fine print they wanted something large and what I had to do I had to photograph the fabric and zoom in to make it bigger so that I could make this I'm trying to bring it down a little bit to see if maybe the cameras can capture exactly what you're discussing because um, there is a lot of detail mm. <laughs> in this quilt and um, not only is it in the way it's been put together it's the colors it's the texture I mean I, the beauty of, of what I'm experiencing right now is I get to touch it right normally yeah. you don't yeah. get to touch art yeah yeah and so talk about how you mentioned right there, there was a smaller version of this and then uh, so a request I was made. Kept blowing up, blowing up, blowing up. And then I, you know, I coned in on my, um, my professional, the professional aspect of being trained as an artist that I wanted to create a sense of dimensionality. So if you look at it this... You can pull it up if you want if so you that look, they can see it. If you look at it this way, you will see at the bottom in the forefront, mm -hmm. the figures are large. And in the middle, it increases. And in the, at the top it gets smaller, and that's one way of creating dimensionality. Dimensionality. Yeah, yeah. So I'm always, I'm always like reinventing certain things, um, you know, that um, I don't see out there. So can I just share like my interpretation? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you, and it's probably even based on the, the conversation that we had. It's like, there's a lot of earth and universe in this piece. Um, there's a lot of green, you've got stars in here, you've got like the colors of bark. Um, and, and then there's the feeling of it too. Some of it is rough, some of it is smooth. 
Um, and some of it even looks like water, like rivers. I mean, this is really, 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 and really thought certain out. certain things <laughs> were done by accident. Also, really? Because that's how I learn a lot. So um, there, it's yeah. not thought out. It's one of some those... Some is thought out, some is not. Right. <laughs> and so I kind of like put it together that way. Right. So I just want to show this to our audience so that they can get the gist of what we're discussing. Here you go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the details in this quilt. So how long does it take you to make something like this? About a month. A month? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because I'm, I'm... Do you sleep? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, that's um, some when, serious dedication. When I start working on something, I'm like, you know, I'm just very focused. I want it done and da 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 And so what else we got? Yeah, I know you brought some other items. Let's show them. Okay, this is... Okay, let's show them Charlotte. This is Queen Charlotte. I right, did so this This one you can hold up. Like two, yeah. So that they I can did this up. long before um, Netflix did Queen Charlotte. Right. And um, this is what she really actually looked like. Um, you know, throughout history, they portrayed her as looking like a white woman when she was not. Right. And so this is what I did. And then the story attached and to it? Yeah, the story talks about who she is, what she did, etc. This is beautiful. And then we have another piece that we can show, right? Which okay. is... And this is uh, Sankofa. Sankofa. Yeah. Which means to and reach the, back, right? Yes, this is the tree of life. Uh-huh. Usually, um, as a quilter, you, the scraps are so important because it, it gives a history of what you've been doing. And so this was made out of different scraps of African fabric that I had. So I have the Sankofa bird over here at the right. bottom. Which also, uh, as I mentioned, is to reach back, yes, right? Yes, yes. And I'm, I'm taking it in because it's almost like you upcycle uh, as well. Yes. Right? So how does something like this present itself to you in thought? I just start working. You know, I do, be I believe in divine sp uh, um, ancestry intervention mm -hmm. because a lot of things that I do is uh, spontaneous. A lot of times, if I sit down and try to plan it out, it doesn't come out right. But when I hone in on the, you know, what I'm getting from the ancestors, it just happens. And it just, and that's how I basically work. And even in my paintings, it's the same thing. I could sketch out something, da 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 da, but if I just start working, fantastic. Right. For my liking, what I like, what I want to, you know, communicate in my work. It's a, a sense of surrender is what I'm getting from yes. you, right? Yes. Even though you're skilled in certain areas. Yes. Right? So how did you develop those skills? Well, m my mother was an artist. And when I say an artist, that she could actually draw, draw. My uncles. And, you know, I come from a very large family. And so I was like the second child born. A lot of responsibilities. My mother had 10 kids. So for me... I started very young finding my moments of silence, and then I started sketching and drawing. So it's always been in my life, always been in my life. And when I went to my first teaching job, um, the principal asked me if I could do artwork, and I told him no, because I was working it. I had worked in the Catholic school, and I did nativity scene. Meanwhile, I'm crying because I'm nine months pregnant, and I ran out of paint. And so I said the next job that I got, I would not tell them you know, that I knew art, but then I did a play and my principal calls me in the office, he says, you lied to me. <laughs> you lied to me because I did the whole set design and so forth, you know, so. Yeah, so you, your art it actually visits other uh, genres, right? Um, prior to getting on air, you showed me a beautiful image of a cover that I'm sure we're going to show on air. Yes. However, I want us to share the story behind my Xanthi. Okay, this is a story that piece the blue artwork is your work yeah the blue uh that's that's uh what happened was that painting was stolen from me it was it's like 40 by 50. i went to my studio not studio storage room and the painting was gone and so they they're looking at me like well what are you talking about <laughs> pulled everything out i couldn't find the painting meanwhile i worked on that painting for five years but i did have insurance and so the insurance company paid me for it that's so nice. They paid you they for paid it, but they it. couldn't replace it. No, they right. couldn't replace it. So uh, on my website, I tell the whole story about my, you know, the, the painting. I hope it comes back to me. And so I, I, I met this um, woman through Zoom who saw my website, and she fell in love with the painting. Right. And so she, you know, she says, I would like to use it for my book. 
you know, I mean, for my book cover. So I said, well, let me read the book. So she sent me the book, and I loved the story. The story was fantastic. It could be anybody's story. Right. Uh, it's a story about a Greek woman who commits a crime while she's in Greece, Greece, and she had to leave. And she left, and she became a nanny for a family in um, America. But meanwhile, she was high. The, one of the kids thought she was so angelic, but she was hiding the secret. And when the kid found out, well, he was an adult now, he was really, really disappointed, you know. But it's a, it's a great story. It and he became a lawyer. And he became a right. lawyer. I, yes. I, I know the story yes. already. Oh, I don't know if I wasn't supposed to say that. Well, he, be, he became a lawyer. And it's, it's a great story. I mean, I felt like I could identify with many emotional and psychological aspects of the characters. Right, even and though it's Greek. Even uh, though it's a, like a, a Greek, Greek tragedy storyline um, that's modernized right. and is a different culture from yours. Exactly. Exactly. I'm about cultures. Right. I mean, I like, I like learning about all different cultures. I eat all different kinds of food. But also, I still want to put forth my culture because I feel that I come from a phenomenal culture. You know, um, many times people, Valerie, you got to leave the Bronx. Why well, I got to leave the Bronx? Right. I like the Bronx. Right. I like the flavor. I like the, the, the people. You know, it's just very beautiful for me. And I've been here a long time and have no intentions of leaving the Bronx. Right, but you know what the, the other beauty of what you just uh, demonstrated with regards to this cover and taking on this new venture is that now you're going to be recognized in a different culture for the artistry that will pique interest to those people who are reading the book to want to get to know you and now you bring them to the Bronx. Exactly. Right. Exactly, yeah. That's yeah. the beauty of New York. That's yeah. why I love New York. Me too, me too, yes. So um, are you on display anywhere at this present moment? Um, no. Will you be? Uh, yes, I'm going to be doing, um, actually, I just, I just um, won a grant from the Bronx Council of the Arts. Oh, nice. So, Congratulations. Thank you. So I'm gonna, I serve on the board. Oh, okay. Congratulations. So, thank you. <laughs> so I will be teaching, um, I will be teaching uh, a collage workshop. And so, you know, I'm deciding on where I want to teach it and so forth. But um, last year, I did a lot of work, and I said this year I had to pull back a little bit because I'm, it's, people don't realize it's exhausting. Yeah. You know, it's, psycho it's psychological, yeah. emotional, yes. and physical, yes. you know, so. Yeah. But. but it's good that you have it as an outlet. And I understand about the bandwidth. You know, you got to gauge it accordingly. And congratulations on your win, BCA. Thank you for sharing your beautiful art with us and our audience. Once again, everyone, Valerie Days, artist and educator. For more information on Valerie, you can visit ValerieDaysArt.com. Don't go anywhere. There's more open when we return.